Hi folks and welcome to this unboxing of a brand new Grogu, an animatronic Grogu. So I got this from Forbidden Planet, one of the very few places where this is available. Most places it's not available yet. This is the first time I've used Forbidden Planet and the packaging was fantastic. Double walled, really sturdy box and really good packaging material inside and it was super fast delivery so thumbs up for Forbidden Planet. So let's take a closer look at this little fella. Really like the looks of this one. Like the pose they've got him in with his ears down. Um, one of the cuter Grogu's I've seen. Lovely big glassy eyes and he is really tiny. He's only 12 centimeters. <laughs> So let's have a look at the packaging. We've got Wild Riding Grogu. Got him in his little pram there. And obviously his pram right next to him. We can see here his head moves in two axes up and down and left to right. By putting him in the pram, you unlock the pram sound effects. And you tap on his head to activate his sounds and movements. He's got 25 plus sound and movement combinations. And there's two ways to play, either outside of the pram or in the pram. Now, when I first read about this, I got a little bit excited because I thought it maybe had an accelerometer because when you move it around in the pram, um, it makes different sounds, but I'm not so sure now. It's looking more like if you lock him into the pram, he just makes different sound effects, but We'll see. His head kind of wobbles freely and he's not made of soft plastic, it's all hard plastic. Really has such a wobbly head. So without further ado, I'll get this little Grogu out of the box. So there's his pram unboxed. Interestingly, there was no cable ties on that. I think Hasbro's maybe trying to use less plastic for packaging and just stick to cardboard, which is better for the environment. So we've got the hood for the pram. This is uh, quite flexible, the hood, whereas the pram's sort of rigid plastic. And again, the hood didn't have any cable ties on it or any plastic. They just used cardboard and paper, so that's good. We've got the stand for the pram. Star Wars on the bottom there. Locks in really easily. Well made. They've used string instead of a cable tie and then a cardboard fastening for securing Grogu. So that was good to see. Not sure how you're supposed to pull this out looks like this is where the batteries go so maybe when you take the battery door off you can release this string so that's what he looks like out of the box you've got those little feet that are just sort of like slightly two-dimensional and his arms are poseable so let's have a look at the instructions so he takes two triple A's, so we'll put those in first. So the battery door was easy to get off. Take that string off now. Put our batteries in. <laughs> I 
made a noise straight away. I haven't even got the battery on yet. So I've only just noticed that he doesn't actually have an on, an on and off switch. Activate sound and movement combos. So we've got a diagram here, tapping the top of his head, and we've got a little speaker symbol. So obviously showing that he makes some sort of noise in response. So obviously you switch him on, as it were, by tapping his head. And presumably he'll power down himself because he doesn't have an on off switch. So let's see what that one tap does. <laughs> I really like that. I, I didn't really expect it to move. I didn't really expect it to move so much. I find that quite hysterical. We've got this picture here which shows him upside down down it's sort of got an arrow shot showing a 180 degree turn and a speaker symbol so obviously that's suggesting he's got a tilt sensor so maybe he really has got an accelerometer after all well we'll see to say mommy A different reaction. It's <laughs> <laughs> interesting. We've got um, tap twice, and it seems to be. Showing him his head, his head actually going down behind his collar. Ah, it says activate hiding movement. <laughs> then we've got tap three times and that will activate four sound and movements I actually had to do that quite a few times before I got him to do it don't know why if I wasn't doing the taps quick enough after each other or distinctively enough but it actually took quite a few tries so now we've got place and hold and we've got this symbol here which looks like an on off button Okay, so that powers him down. And then this picture shows the Grogu being placed on his back. And we've got that power button symbol again. So that, that must also make him power down. Oh. Looks like he's power. Oh no. Powering down now. Yeah, he's powered down now. And finally, we're going to put Grogu in his pram. So we've got a diagram there for putting the pram together, which we've already done. And next, we've got to locate the two holes on the bottom of Grogu and put them into these pegs. On the pram so you can just sort of place him lightly on the pegs they don't sort of firmly slot in or anything so you can sort of clamp his hand onto the 
on to the side of the brown. So then we've got a diagram showing moving the pram forward and then moving the pram left and right. Oh, wait. Oi! <laughs> that is an absolute creaser. It's really, really funny. Engine's still revving at the minute. Well, I think that is really entertaining. Ah, engine switched off now. I thought I'd just bring my other animatronic Grogu down to sort of compare them side by side. I've of course got the metal animatronic as well, haven't mm -hmm. I? The one yeah. that uh, yeah. has a lot of functionality, the yeah. little moves. So I'll compare the three of them in the future video. So what do you think of this little fella, Paul? Well, he's most definitely little, is he? <laughs> he's absolutely tiny. Yeah, he's, he's, he's cute looking. Mm. Uh, but I only have been movement in the neck. Mm -hmm. uh, I thought they got quite a lot of uh, expression there. Yeah, yeah. I like I like that it doesn't have uh, switches on it to turn it on and off. I wonder if uh, that's part partly done though to save money i think it is but i think it's also a good idea with the electronics this day and age you know they can power down into micro power states and uh with, with touch sensors and things so uh, i think it's a good idea to get rid of the on off switch yeah it's a bit pointless really isn't it it's also unre switches. unreliable as well yeah something else to go wrong mm. what yeah. do you think of him I, in his prom? i love this i suppose this is one of the reasons why they made him so dinky because yeah so the, it would you know, fit the pram, in the prom yeah the, it, Pram would take up a lot of plastic if it was this size, wasn't it? And would it yeah. just increase the expense? I think it's, they've done a nice job of the pram. And I like the handle as well. Yeah, I think you'll be on the play with that later, mm. won't you? Mm. Yeah, I'm going to be whizzing it around the room just to try it out, I think. <laughs> whizzing it round. I also think that because it's so small, yeah. it's like... A sort of desk buddy. <laughs> yeah. You know, you can be yeah, like, robots yeah, at a desk like, buddy. You could have it on your desk, couldn't you, as you're working, yeah. <laughs> so I, I would say overall we both feel pretty positive about this one. Yeah. I'm surprised the Hasbro's actually made an animatronic Grogu so tiny. Mm, mm, you mm. don't often get animatronic no models mm -hmm. that are so small and i actually like the diddiness yeah i think it's i think it's a feature of it really isn't it yeah so that about wraps it up for this video folks i'll be back soon with a comparison video of this grogu with some of my other grogus you seem to be looking forward to that <laughs> but that's it for this video folks Thanks for watching as always and see you next time.